countdown is underway for moon lander Vikram's final descent. After its historic landing on the lunar south pole, Israel's second mission to the moon will make India the only country to manage a soft landing on the lunar soil. Till date, 38 attempts at soft landing have been made on the moon's surface. 20 alone have succeeded. A soft landing does not result in any damage to spacecraft, which means the spacecraft remains operational and fit to carry out experiments. For a soft landing, Vikram's onboard navigation, guidance and control system and its propulsion system will have to work in perfect unison. In the year 2008, Chandrayaan 1's moon impact probe hard landed on the moon and was destroyed on impact. The impact released subsurface debris that was later analyzed for water ice by instruments on Chandrayaan 1. The presence of water on the moon was later confirmed by international missions, including NASA. India's historic moon mission started 11 years ago, when in September 2008, former Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh gave approval for Chandrayaan 2 mission. The mission finally took off on 22nd July 2019 on a 384,400 km journey towards the moon. Once it lands, Vikram and the rover Pragyan it is carrying will conduct scientific experiments on the moon for one lunar day, which is equal to 14 Earth days. Chandrayaan-2 will be operational for one year to conduct various orbital experiments. The 978 crore rupees unmanned moon mission is expected to shed light on a completely unexplored section of the moon's south polar region. The south polar region is among the coldest spots on the solar system. It has not received sunlight for billions of years. Scientists believe water exists in the permanently shadowed areas around it. In addition, south pole region had craters that are coal traps and contain a fossil record of the early solar system that could help us understand the origins of life. The mission is also expected to demonstrate key technologies for end-to-end -end lunar mission capability, including soft landing and roving on the lunar surface. It also aims to further expand the knowledge about the Moon through a detailed study of its topography, mineralogy, surface chemical composition, thermophysical characteristics and atmosphere for a better understanding of the Moon's origin and evolution. Many aspects of these uh, are going to be crucial for much later missions uh, in the sense of looking at what is present on the moon is in our backyard but still there are so many uh, aspects of uh, moon studies where it is possible to make crucial contributions and that is what this mission is uh, setting out to do to know the mineral distribution and particularly those minerals which may be of use for future missions which may take off from the moon. So we would be in that uh, kind of, you know, no, not race, but in that process of being able to do that much later in future through this mission. Let's understand how the spacecraft will land. The Vikram lander will descend onto the lunar surface. The lander will perform a series of maneuvers to bring itself to a 90 degree angle with respect to the lunar surface and identify a suitable landing site. Upon landing, the lander Vikram will release the rover Pragyan to explore the lunar surface for one lunar day. The orbiter will continue to circle around the moon for about a year. The key difference between India's first and second moon mission is that Chandrayaan-2 is the first mission in which ISRO is attempting to land an Earth-made object on a celestial body. While Chandrayaan-1 was an orbiter, meaning satellites that were sent to orbit the moon and collect data. Chandrayaan-2 is a combo. It has an orbiter as well as a lander and a rover. Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft made more than 3,400 orbits around the moon and remained operational for 312 days. Chandrayaan-2's orbiter will continue its mission for around a year. In its path-breaking discovery, Chandrayaan-1 not only discovered traces of water on the Moon, it also detected magnesium, aluminium and silicon. Global imaging was another achievement of Chandrayaan-1 mission. 
Chandrayaan-2 aims to widen these scientific objectives by way of soft landing on the moon and deploying a rover to study the lunar surface. It will be the precursor to the grand Gaganyaan mission that will send three Indians to space on an Indian spacecraft. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV.